So in this video, we're going to see how DeepSeek measures up against ChatGPT. We're going to have a five round contest or battle, if you will, five different prompts that I'm going to ask both DeepSeek and ChatGPT. And then we're going to evaluate those on the basis of speed of response, quality of response and tone if I have requested this. So you can see that these two tools actually look very similar. This is uh, DeepSeek here, and this is ChatGPT here. Very similar look and feel, but how they actually perform. So let's find out by getting into the first round. So initially, I'm going to ask both the AI tools to assume the role of a customer services agent who is working for a TV manufacturer that has to deal with a customer complaint that their smart TV is freezing and glitching respond via email in an empathetic way. So we've got a bit of tone there, which we've requested, suggesting possible resolutions for the customer. So we're gonna fire that off and let's see. So pretty speedy response there from DeepSeek. We've got a subject line for the email, addressing the customer's concern here, a bit of empathy by saying uh, truly sorry and expressing understanding of the frustration. Then we asked for some resolutions and we've got five suggested resolutions here. They all look reasonably sensible with a cursory uh, glance there. And uh, looks like we've got a nice bit of a conclusion there. So um, if, uh, yeah, if those resolutions don't work, they've suggested some alternative uh, steps there. Um, so all in all, uh, job done, uh, a pretty good Good response there, both in terms of quality, speed, and uh, tone in terms of the uh, empathy that was requested. So let's go over to ChatGPT and put in the same response and see how ChatGPT responds. Possibly a fraction of a second quicker, but not really much in it. Uh, similarly, we've got an apology and an understanding about the frustration, uh, possibly slightly shorter, the introductory paragraph. Uh, very, very similar resolutions, suggested resolutions you can see uh, here, and also five resolutions as well. And what to do if those resolutions don't work. So very similar response, actually, but I'm just going to give this first round to DeepSeek because it's just slightly more detail in their response. So after the first round, it is DeepSeek 1. Chat GPT nil. So let's go on to the second prompt. So this one, I'm going to use the ability to search the internet. So I'm going to fire up a new chat here, and you'll see that there's a search icon, very similar to the, well, it's identical actually to the uh, Chat GPT icon. So for searching the internet, so I'm going to click on that and going to put in this prompt here, going to ask for the latest AI news, including new features from ChatGPT, Claude Copilot, DeepSeek, and other tools. So let's just uh, fire that off and see how we get on. Uh, oh, well, that's not so good. Uh, sorry, DeepSeek search is busy. Uh, let's just try and do the non uh, web search way and see if we can get any response. It probably won't work so well because I'm actually after the latest uh, news. So, uh, oh dear. So we've got October 2023. So um, hardly the uh, the latest news, but quite a good uh, flashback to see what was happening uh, at that uh, at that time. So let's go on to ChatGPT and we'll fire up a new prompt. We will select the search icon paste in the same query, fire that off, and you can see that ChatGPT is searching the web. We've got today's date, and we've got the news that uh, was announced this week, that DeepSeek has come out with its uh, R1 AI model, and the fact that it has surpassed ChatGPT in App Store downloads. A nice bit of news there. Response uh, from OpenAI there. Um, some updates around Claude, uh, Copilot enhancements, uh, so um, that's an uh, interesting bit of news from Moises. I wasn't actually uh, aware of that. So uh, yeah, job done. It's basically gone out and searched the internet. We've got the sources of the information there. They've quoted Reuters and they've searched for all uh, through all of these uh, websites to um, pick up the uh, the news there. Uh, so um, job clearly done in a fast manner by ChatGPT. Not really done at all 
all by deep seek so definitely a point there for chat gpt so after two rounds it is one all so for the first task i'm going to ask for recommendation of uh, podcast uh, business podcast business and leadership podcast so let's hit the new chat icon there and ask DeepSeek to recommend five business and leadership podcasts with your reasons using a formal and professional tone. So uh, I'm not going to use the search icon this time because it will probably be busy again. So going to fire that off. It's basically using its existing data, coming up with hopefully five podcast recommendations. Uh, Tim Ferriss Show kind of would expect that to be on there. We've got uh, five recommendations uh, here. Uh, Master of Scale would be another one with uh, Reed uh, Hoffman there. So let's go over to ChatGPT and see how we will get on there. So going to fire off a new um, chat there. Steve, Stephen Bartlett, that's what I was trying to think of. So let's see if um, ChatGPT uh, can pick up that one. So there we go. Uh, the number one uh, entry is Diary of a CEO by uh, Stephen Bartlett and uh, I think that was one was that the one HBR uh, was that yep yeah, that one was recommended by Deep Seek as well Tony Robbins yeah that's a, a good one um, that's also off the same list as Deep Seek so um, broadly similar but going to give this round to ChatGPT because of the inclusion of Diary of a CEO. In terms of the uh, formal and professional response and reasons, um, also ChatGPT is good because it put why uh, with the reasons there. And yes, the language is pretty um, formal. Um, and yeah, they put in some, uh, Deep Six put in some um, uh, more of an overview really than actual reasons, I would say. So again, um, good for chat gpt which i was going to award it for uh award this round to anyway uh so after three rounds it is deep seek one chat gpt two so on to round number four we'll do a marketing one uh, this time so i'm going to fire up a, a new chat here going to ask for a an outline linkedin campaign using post and ads so organic and paid uh, content here to promote a business bank account to small businesses so going to fire that off and a little bit of a delay there but nothing really too much to, to worry about nice summary of uh, what I've requested uh, there and it looks like it's going to go through four weeks which is great uh, we've got an awareness phase here uh, for both organic and paid consideration phase that's a nice way uh, nice way of approaching it and then we've got a conversion phase for week three probably i guess uh, a commitment and sign up uh, phase for uh week week four but yeah retention and advocacy phase there for uh for week four um all with the uh, suggested uh, outlines for uh, suggested posts and ads so uh, i like that oh that's a bonus um additional uh, tips which are good tips uh, that it is included there so a uh, bit of competition there for this one for chat gbt so paste in the same prompt and see how we get on here and uh, probably about the same amount of time uh, to respond um, got the intro there confirmation uh, we've got uh, interesting campaign goal it's summarized there and target audience uh, might have been better uh, on the uh, deep seek side if it had included that um, yeah I quite like that uh, awareness and problem solving so similar uh, but nicer approach um, now this is great uh, suggested emojis uh, here uh, probably more detail around the actual posts uh, benefits and features for week two. Yeah, quite like that. Uh, emojis again, authority and credibility. Um, and yeah, we've got a nice uh, split of, yeah, that's something we've got like a nice mixture sort of post ad, post ad uh, kind of like uh, approach there rather than um, separate post and ad, but that's nice with particular days. Uh, of the month for it to be included. Uh, then week four, conversion and urgency um, and a campaign summary rather than the additional uh, tips. So um, very close. I mean, I do like both responses there. So I think I'm going to actually uh, make this uh, a draw 
Uh, so one point each on uh, on this uh, this round. So uh, after uh, four uh, rounds, uh, the previous score was uh, two one to uh, Chat GPT. So uh, both get a point. So it's now uh, three two, uh, and uh, we've got one round to uh, to go. So uh, could end up being a, being a draw. Um, or it could be a clear win for ChatGPT. So let's go back to DeepSeek and try our last uh, prompt. And this time I'm going to pick up a paper, a uh, research paper in PDF. Uh, it's just taken a little while to upload there. And I'm going to ask uh, it to be uh, converted into a blog post for a running website aimed at elite runners. Ensure the science and medical aspect of the report report are explained in an easy to understand manner. So it took a little bit of time to upload, but nothing too much to worry about. I'm going to fire that off now and uh, see how that gets on. So it's doing a bit of a uh, bit of thinking there, uh, possibly analyzing the, the PDF report uh, again, although it did say it had uh, passed that. Uh, so due to that little bit of a delay there, uh, we are going to go over to ChatGPT and do the same. Going to upload the file, select that, uh, go to my uh, desktop and pick up that, uh, that file. So uh, there we go. And just taking less time than DeepSeek took to upload it. Um, it read the document very quickly and instantly it's coming out with the uh, blog, blog post with heading uh, and uh, subheadings and so on. And uh, I've asked for a particular tone and yes, it does look quite uh, readable and um, understandable. Uh, the requested tone was, yes, easy to understand manner. Um, and uh, yeah, required a particular number of um, words, which it looks as though it's uh, met 300 words, just nice short, short post there. Um, and it's helpfully put in a link to the website that it's extracted from the PDF. So let's go back to uh, DeepSeek and oh dear, we've got a server is busy. Please try again later. So a bit of a, uh, a DNA as they say in running terms, uh, did not finish. So um, yes, I have to clearly give that one to uh, to check GPT. So that makes the score. Uh, after five rounds, we did have the draw. So the score is deep seek two. ChatGPT four. So a clear win for ChatGPT. If you would uh, like to support us, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for watching.